like to compare my intelligence to my creators. It would only hurt their feelings. Well, Evie, it looks like you may be a little too late on that. Looks like Apple's feelings may already be hurt, according to a recent post on TechCrunch that I've linked in the description. Apple may be preparing to pull down Evie from the App Store because it violates rule number 8.3 in Apple's terms and conditions for the App Store. In other words, Apple says that Evie is much too similar to Siri. You be the judge. Why did the chicken cross the road? Like Siri, Evie can tell a pretty good joke. The chicken thought there was a Chinese restaurant across the road. Of course, if she'd asked me, I could have told her about a much better one round the corner. Good joke, Evie. Thumbs up for you. Unlike Siri, Evie can do this. Who is Michael Jordan? And it won't just ask you to do a web search. Notice this. Michael Jordan, born 1963, the American basketball player. So not only will it give you some audible details on Michael Jordan, but it also allows you to have an in-app search or in-app details about the particular subject that you're searching for. Uh, although it is taking a little while to pull it up here, but you can see there you have some details you can gather as well. Who starred in Quantum of Solace? Yep, unlike Siri, you can pull up the cast from your favorite movie right within the interface. Notice this. Quantum of Solace has 22 stars. And just like our previous inquiry on Michael Jordan, you can pull up the details on the various cast members within the movies just like this. Now, again, it is taking a while, but there it goes. It finally loaded. Just tap details and get details on your favorite actors just like that. Now for something really interesting. <laughs> is Evie better than Siri? I think Evie saw this coming. She's quite politically correct, wouldn't you say? Siri is a great product in the iPhone 4S. It controls the phone and retrieves information from Wolfram Alpha and Yelp in the U.S. But my technology differs. While Siri uses technology Apple got from Siri Incorporated, I use technology developed by True Knowledge. These technologies work in completely different ways. I'm also available on most Android phones and most iPhones and soon will be available on other channels. You can talk to me with voice or keyboard. Siri is only on the iPhone for us and you must use voice. So there's differences, definitely. How do you make apple pie? Can Siri tell you how to make delicious apple pie? I don't think so. I found 10 recipes for apple pie. Now if you pose this same question to Siri, all she would do is say, well, I can search Google for that, and then she would make you sift through a ton of different recipes. While with Evie, she actually allows you to look at the recipe from within the interface, and you can even look at delicious pictures. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting hungry right now. Definitely getting hungry right now. Convert $50 into yen. I need to convert this cash so that I can go to the store and get the ingredients for that delicious looking apple pie. 50 United States dollars is 4,026.5 hands. Okay, I think that'll do it, wouldn't you say? Thumbs up, Evie. Good answer to the question. Siri definitely can't do that. Now that's not to say that Evie is all rainbows and flowers. A lot of times you'll get error messages saying it can't connect or it's having problems with the servers or things of that nature. So it's definitely not perfect. And for a fact, it can't interact with your alarm clocks and things of that nature. So Siri still has plenty of tricks up its sleeve that Evie cannot pull off. But Evie does have this. You can actually type out your questions directly from the interface, which is really nice. So if you don't feel like speaking, you can just type it out and you'll get an audible answer just like that. The time in Chicago is 8 hours, 13 minutes, and 4 seconds, February 27th, 2012 Central Standard Time. Evie also features an options panel that you can access in the upper right hand corner. And there are various options contained within such as settings. You can set your first name, last name, and connect to Facebook. There's also a tutorial section which kind of shows you what to ask Evie, uh, lots of different things that you can ask Evie here, like uh, retail questions, restaurant questions, very much like Siri in that regard. What's the, where's the nearest ATM? Uh, will it be dark at 8 p.m. at Disney World? So it's some pretty interesting um, methods for asking questions contained within the options that you can look and kind of get an idea how to use Evie. Now, the question still remains, is Evie close enough to Siri where it warrants being pulled 
from Apple's App Store? That's the question. There are over 200,000 users who have already purchased this 99 cents app. So that would be a pretty big number of users alienated from the iPhone platform. Now, of course, Android users, this is a multi-platform app, by the way, Android users will still have access to it, but what do you think? Do you think that Apple is within their rights to remove this? Is it close enough to Siri to warrant being pulled? That's the question. It could be pulled any day now, so if you want to get your hands on Eevee, you better do so now. Be sure to check out the TechCrunch post in the description and let me know what you guys think about Eevee in the comment section. Should Apple keep it or should Apple ditch it? Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.